वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम टू डैश ट्वेंटी फाइव सो स्टेटमेंट इज ईच ऑफ लिंक ए बी एंड सी डी इज मेड ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम ई इज टेन पॉइंट नाइन इंटू टेन पॉइंट सिक्स पी एस आई एंड हैज अ क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट टू स्क्वेयर इंच नोइंग दैट दे सपोर्ट द रिजिट मेम्बर बी सी डिटरमाइन द डिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ पॉइंट ई सो दिस इज रिजिट मेम्बर बी सी दैट इज सपोर्टेड बाई टू लिंक ए बी एंड सी डी द लोड एट पॉइंट ई इज वन के सो वट वी हैव टू फाइंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द डिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ दिस पॉइंट ई सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन सो यू कैन सी हेयर दैट ड्यू टू दिस लोड देर विल बी अ टेंशन इन दिस मेम्बर ए बी एंड सी डी बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिमूव दिस सो देर विल बी अरेक्शन फोर्स ऑफ दिस टू लिंक्स सो यू विल ड्रॉ द फ्री बॉडी डाइग्राम of this rigid member bc so what if i draw it like this uh, assume that if we draw like this so at this end we will having a force which is represented by feb clear this is your point b and this is your point c and here you will be having a force that is represented by f c d and at this point we have a load of p that is acting downward this distance is given as 10 inch while this distance is given as 22 inch so by applying equilibrium condition we can find this F A B and F C D. So first equilibrium condition is sum of all moment about point C is equal to zero, and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So about point C one moment is F A B into perpendicular distance is this thirty two inch and this is producing clockwise so it will be negative. And the second moment is due to this P into perpendicular distance is this twenty two and that is counterclockwise so it will be positive. So their sum must be equal to zero. So I will write F E B into perpendicular distance is thirty two, and this is minus plus P into twenty two. Clear. Is equal to zero. So it means that F E B is equal to twenty two multiplied by P P is given as one cap so. I will multiply one into ten to the power three, divide by thirty two. So from here you will get F E B is a six eighty seven point five pounds. Now you can find F B F C D by using another equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and taking the for upward force as positive. So one force is F A B, which is six eighty seven point five. That is upward minus P, which is one kips. So one into ten to the power three plus F C D is equal to zero. So again, when you solve this, you will get F C D is equal to three hundred twelve point five pounds. now you have both this fab and fcd you can see that due to this load clear due to this load there will be a tension in link ab and cd so definitely there will be elongation change in length of ab and there will be a change in length of cd so what we have to find this change in length so elongation in e in link ab link ab is given by change in length of ab is equal to force ab into length of ab divided by e into a so you can see force in ab is equal to 687.5 so 680 7.5 multiply by length length is 18 inch so into 18 divided by e is given as 10.9 into 10 to the power 6 psi and area is this one so 10.9 into 10 to the power 6 multiply by area is 0.2 this will give you change in length of ab now when you calculate it you will get 
फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन सिक्स इन टू टेन एस टू पावर माइनस थ्री इंच एंड लेट वी कैन कॉल इट चेंज इन पॉइंट बी बिकॉज दिस पॉइंट बी विल मूव डाउनवर्ड क्लियर नाउ इलांगेशन इन पॉइंट इलांगेशन इन लिंक इन लिंक सी डी इज रिप्रेजेंटेड एज चेंज इन लेंथ ऑफ सी डी इज इक्वल टू एफ सी डी इंटू लेंथ ऑफ सी डी डिवाइड बाई ई इंटू ए बिकॉज दिस आर द सेम मटीरियल सो ई एन ए इज सेम सॉरी ई एन ए इज सेम येस सो एफ सी डी इज थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव इन टू लेंथ इज अगेन दैट इज एटीन इंच बोथ लेंथ आर सेम दिस divided by e which is 10.9 into 10 raised to power 6 multiplied by area which is 0.2 that is cd when you calculate it it will be 2.58 2.5803 into 10 raised to power minus 3 inch since this is point c the c will also move down so i will call it del c now you can see that uh, this point b will move how much that is del b and that del b is 5.67 into 10 to the power minus 3 while this uh, point c will move uh, del c and that is 2.5803 it means that due to this loading this this stretch will be like this 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 will be like this and you are uh, this rigid beam will be tilted so what we will do is that if i draw the deformation diagram so how we will draw, draw deformation diagram i will write it deformation diagram so if i represent link b c is like this is your point b this is your point b now you can see that point b will um, change in length of the link b or point b will move to this point and that is represented as del b clear and del b is 5.67 into 10 to the power minus 3 while point c will move this much distance so let this point is this this is your del c which is 2.58 into 10 to the power minus 3 and this will be the new the rigid bar will be this one so let this is your point b dash and this is your c dash here this is the point where load p is applied there so definitely if i forward it or it i extend it so this is your new point e dash so and we have to find this we have to find this deflection of point e so what we will do is that you can see that if i draw a horizontal line from this point clear if i draw it horizontal point line from this point so you can see this distance bc is this same del c and here we have a theta which is represented as theta clear that is slope how we will find this slope so this slope delta is equal to uh, uh, what this will be equal to by using s is equal to r theta there so you have this is uh, uh, s so the theta is equal to s over r so for here you will have this s so this distance let me show you this distance is equal to uh, so this distance is equal to total del b del b minus del c will give you this distance clear and what is uh, r so r is this one which is the length total length 
एल बी सी सो आई विल राइट इट एज डेल बी माइनस डेल सी डिवाइड बाई एल बी सी एल बी सी सो वी इफ यू सब्ट्रैक्ट डेल बी विच इज़ दिस वन फ्रॉम दिस इफ यू सब्ट्रैक्ट डेल सी फ्राम डेल बी सो यू विल गेट थ्री पॉइंट जीरो नाइन सिक्स इंटू टेन एस पावर माइनस थ्री डिवाइड बाई लेंथ ऑफ बी सी विच इज़ टोटल थर्टी टू सो I will write it thirty two. So when you solve this, you will get theta is ninety six point seven five nine into ten to the power minus six radian. Now you have this theta. Again, you can see you have this theta. So you can find this deflection or del E. I will write it as del E from this point this to this this point. This is del E. so you can see this del e is equal to up till now this distance from this to this this is equal to del c so i will write it del c plus remaining this distance from this point till this point this distance is you can see this will be l e c into theta by using this formula s is equal to r theta i will show you this distance will be equal to this theta multiply by this length will give you this distance so i will write it l e c into theta so del c is 2.5803 into 10 to the power minus 3 plus l e c is 22 inch so we will write 22 into theta is 96.759 into 10 to the power minus 6 so when you solve this you will get deflection of point e comes out to be 4.7090 into 10 to the power minus 3 inch and this is our answer so you can see that due to this loading this uh, this point b and c point b will move to this and point c will move this and this will be the behavior of this rigid link so that this is deflection of point e i hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, if you are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video and if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching